Listen, we have um, asked our viewers uh, on Twitter and Instagram and I don't know how many platforms you have. That's all I have. Um, to submit questions that they'd like you to answer. And I'm going to start with one that I received. Uh, besides executing a safe mission, obviously, what's the top priority scientifically of the mission? What took so long to go back to the moon? Are we in a moon race? I'll let you choose which of those questions you want to answer. <laughs> I, I think we are in a little bit of a moon race, even if no one admits it publicly. Uh, China has, has met good on every one of their promises when they said, we're going to put a astronaut, a Taikonaut into orbit. They did that. Uh, uh, they're going to build a space station. They're doing that. And so uh, they want to say they declare they want to go to the moon. We should really take them seriously. If we feel threatened by that in any way, this is the kind of response that that triggers. That's why we went to the moon in the first place. You know, our, our cleansed memory of that period is, oh, we're Americans and we're explorers. And, well, we were in the middle of a Cold War and we got scared when Russia, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik and we had to respond in some way for our own dignity, for our own place in the world. So a lot of things drive space exploration beyond just scientific motives. Hmm. OK, this comes from Joseph on my Instagram, who says, does Neil think we'll ever colonize the moon? Yeah, so colonies imply that you're going to go there and just hang out and never come back. But there's the little problem, of, like, there's like the no air problem, okay? <laughs> the, I, 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 I don't mind going there for a visit, okay? And there's this old joke, you know, they have restaurants there, and they might have good food, but there'd be no atmosphere in the restaurants. <laughs> so you, you can imagine visiting the moon, but the idea that we'd have a permanent colony, uh, who would do that? I, I I just stay here on Earth, <laughs> personally. All right, so this next question came in uh, through Twitter. Uh, how long will the mission to the moon take, and will the astronauts eventually stay reside on the moon for research purposes? I think you, you answered the, the second half of that. Um, um, what do you think? Well, so a, a straight shot to the moon, where you sort of launch, you, 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 you set off your engines to exit Earth orbit and then coast to the moon. That takes three days, and then it's three days back, and you stay on the moon however long your mission requires of you. This one, uh, Artemis 1, and I think also 2, but certainly this one, it has no plans on landing. They were just going to an orbit around the moon, and it's testing. The, the hardware and the software and all the things that you want to make sure work before you put people inside the, the Orion uh, capsule. And so this is a, uh, these are important tests. By the way, during Apollo, we did the same thing, except we had people on board because we didn't have the robotic remote control abilities that we do today. So that's why we're sending an entire mission that in the future will have people, but right now it does not. So uh, how long you spend there is up to whatever are, are your goals. And like I said, geopolitics is, is some of the strongest drivers of why people go in, why nations go into space, not science, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, Neil, this comes from my, it's Alex on my Instagram, who says, what measures are taken to stop rockets from colliding with space junk? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so space is getting junkier by the moment, okay? And so... Often, they don't typically tell you this, but often a launch window is set for, for many reasons, but including the risk of what you want to avoid some known space junk that f through which it could uh, uh, have a col with which it could collide. And so um, the military tr at NASA, as well as the military, tracks space junk. And you don't want to run into a piece of space junk moving five miles per second on an intersection, uh, on an orbital intersection. So this is a problem. It's a problem, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Uh, and I, I joke that maybe aliens have come to try to visit and they see all the space junk in our, in our, uh, around in our, uh, surrounding the earth and they say, forget it, we're coming back home. We don't wanna risk landing there. So uh, I think about what aliens think all the time. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> Me. Well, that's something to consider. <laughs> Thinking about what aliens think all the time. Uh, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, the man with the best background on television. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. <laughs>